Hi everyone! Continue tayo sa ating math tutorial. So ngayon is nasa grade, four, uh, grade 5 math na tayo, quarter 4, module 2. So ang module 2 natin is meron tayong lesson 1. Ang lesson 1 is naming and converting appropriate unit of measures in finding volume. So meron tayong dalawang object dito. Ito is tinatawag nating rectangular prism at ito is tinatawag nating cube. Para mapangalanan ng tama ang unit of measure na ginamit sa pag-measure ng volume ng mga uh, three-dimensional object, dapat alam natin kung anong unit unit measure ang ginamit sa pag-measure ng length, ng width, at ng height. So kung ito ba ay centimeter, ito ba ay meter, diam uh, decimeter, uh, feet or inches So dapat alam natin kung ano yung ginamit Itong mga figures natin Is tinatawag natin 3 dimensional figures Or meron silang length Merong width at merong height So sa pagkuha ng volume ng mga figure na to Is simply multiply natin ang kanilang length Ang width at ang kanilang height So lalagyan natin ng sukat ang ating uh, rectangular prism at ang ating cube. So titingnan natin kung paano isolve ang kanilang volume. Again, sa pag-solve ng kanilang volume, volume is equal to length times width times height. So volume is equal to length times width times height. So meron tayong rectangular prism dito. Ang kanyang length is 10 cm. Ang kanyang width is 5 cm. At ang kanyang height is 4 cm. So isolve natin ang volume kung ano yung volume ng ating rectangular prism. So volume is equal to length. Ang length niya is 10 cm. Multiplied by the width, ang width niya is 5 cm. And then multiplied by the height, ang height is 4 cm. So, i-multiply lang natin. 10 times 5 is equal to 50. Centimeter times centimeter is equal to centimeter squared. Or i-add nyo lang ang kanilang exponent. So, isang centimeter at isang centimeter is equal to centimeter squared times 4 cm. So, 50 times 4 is equal to 200. And then, centimeter squared times centimeter. So, dalawa plus isa is equal to cubic centimeter. So, ang volume ng ating rectangular prism kung saan meron siyang length na 10 centimeter, merong height na 4 centimeter, at merong width na 5 centimeter, ang kanyang volume is 200 cubic centimeter. Ang pagbasa nito is uunahin natin ng exponent, cubic centimeter. Hindi centimeter cube or hindi centimeter cubic. So, cubic centimeter ang pagkabasa niya. Meron naman tayong sukat sa ating cube. So, ang kanyang side is 12 feet, 12 feet, 12 feet. Or, ang kanyang volume is, uh, volume is equal to side cube. Or, ang kanyang side, i-multiply mo, sari mo sa kanyang sarili 3 times. Or, same lang sa length times width times height. So, i-multiply mo lang silang tatlo. So, isolve natin ang volume ng ating cube. Ano yung, side, ano yung size ng kanyang side? 12 feet. So, 12 feet cube. Or, this simply means 12 feet times 12 feet times 12 feet. Okay? So, i-multiply natin. 12 feet times 12 feet is equal to 144 feet uh, 1 plus 1 squared times 12 feet. So, 144 times 12 is equal to 1,728 cubic feet. Kasi 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So, ang volume ng ating cube kung saan merong 12 feet na side is 1,728 cubic feet. Okay? Okay. So, ano yung application ng ating mga examples? Meaning, converting appropriate unit of measures in finding the volume. Kapag volume yung pinag-uusapan, of course, ang sagot natin is laging naka-cubic or laging naka-cube ang kanyang exponent. That's all for our lesson 1. Ang lesson 2 naman natin is about converting cubic centimeter to cubic meter at vice versa, pagkatapos i-convert mo ang cubic centimeter to liter and vice versa. So, yan ang pag-uusapan natin sa next lesson. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on our next lesson. Bye!